Hi, my name is Vladimir Kulenovich and it's my pleasure to introduce myself to you as a finalist in the music director search for the next music director of the Oklahoma City Philharmonic. I currently live in Chicago and work as a music director of the Lake Forest Symphony Orchestra and have previously held posts at the Utah Symphony, Utah Opera, Kyoto International Music Festival in Japan and Belgrade Philharmonic Orchestra in my native Serbia. I was born and raised in Belgrade, as a matter of fact, it was Yugoslavia at the time, and have lived there until moving to New York City to study at the Juilliard School. And it's my great, great pleasure to come to Oklahoma City this week and contribute to your cultural life with this wonderful program we have prepared for you. Poetry was inspired by the story of Coriolanus and the play about this Roman hero written by Heinrich Josef von Kollin. William Shakespeare also wrote a play uh, based on the story of Coriolanus and it's one of the last plays that Shakespeare wrote. Originally my grandmother who was uh, the first woman theater director in old Yugoslavia taught me this play and is responsible for my lifelong love of Shakespeare and theater. So I'm very, very happy to share this overture with the Oklahoma City Philharmonic audience. After we have been provoked by the drama of Coriolanus' overture of Beethoven, we'll be able to relax in the lyricism of Mendelssohn's violin concerto. A great British violinist will be joining us. Her name is Chloe Hanslip, and I'm sure you will enjoy her lyrical and virtuosic performance. I wanted to also share with you that Mendelssohn uh, was a very important composer in my musical education and my creative output as a conductor. One of my teachers was Kurt Mazur and uh, this great conductor was the music director of the Gewandhaus Orchestra in Leipzig, an orchestra which Mendelssohn himself founded, an orchestra that premiered his violin concerto and of course Mendelssohn wrote this violin concerto for his close friend who was the concertmaster of the Gewandhaus Orchestra, and his name was Ferdinand David. I was very fortunate uh, during my time in Leipzig to actually view the music and the scores uh, marked by Ferdinand David, marked by Mendelssohn himself, and um, I'm very, very happy to bring this tradition to Oklahoma City in a collaboration with Chloe. And we'll be bringing this powerful program to a close with the last piece Rachmaninoff ever wrote, his symphonic dances. This challenging score happens to be one of my favorite pieces to conduct, not only because it is so engaging, but because of its retrospective quality. Being written at the end of a composer's lifetime, this piece forces us to examine ourselves through its lens. As Rachmaninoff examined himself, You'll find quotes in there from his earlier works, from his first symphony, which was not very successful, threw him into a depression that he only overcame through his second piano concerto, his most famous work. You'll find quotes from pieces that mattered a lot to him personally, like the old Franciscan chant, Dies Irae, the day of wrath. And you'll find a quality that is maybe most important of all, and that is optimism and strength. And you'll find it at the very end of the piece, in a triumph, which is unlike any other, a triumph of Rachmaninoff's own immortality. And as the piece ends in a blast of light, he shares with you his last word as a composer. And that is Alleluia. Alleluia to a life well lived, an important life, and a life he chose to share with all of us through his music. And we're very excited to share this wonderful musical experience with us and hope you will join us for our concerts. Thank you.